6 Fascinating Things Your Earwax Can Tell You About Your Health. This article was written by Markham Hyde and provided by our partners at Prevention. It's kind of gross. But you can learn a lot about what's going on inside your body by paying attention to the stuff it produces. The color and consistency of your pee, poop, saliva, and mucus can signal potential health issues or reassure you that all's well. The same is true of the stuff that oozes out of your ears, though experts say your earwax isn't as informative as a lot of people assume. Looking to take back control of your health? Prevention has smart answers at two free gifts when you subscribe today. To be honest, earwax doesn't warrant a lot of attention in our practice, says Brett Kummer, MD, an assistant professor and otolaryngologist ear, nose, and throat doc at the University of Kentucky. Earwax helps keep dirt and bacteria from getting too far inside your ear canal. People seem to worry about it a lot, and they ask if they're making too much or too little, or about the color, he says. But it's not like snot where those little things can tell us a lot. While earwax may not excite your doctor the way boogers do, there are still some things your ear goop can tell you about your health. Here are six of them. 1. If it's watery and has a greenish tint. If you've been sweating, a watery discharge from your ear is probably the result of your perspiration leaking down into your ear and mixing with the wax, says Kummer. But if you haven't been sweating, and the watery wax is greenish or dark yellow, that could indicate an ear infection, he says. 2. If it's sticky or dry. For all of us, it's one or the other. And your type can provide clues to your genetic ancestry. Research appearing in the journal Nature Genetics finds most people of Asian descent have dry wax, while people of African or European descent have sticky or wet wax. The authors of that study say this was a genetic adaptation to the climates in which our ancestors evolved. 3. If it has a strong odor. You may have an infection or damage in the middle part of your ear. This can lead to a number of symptoms that, together, Doctors refer to as chronic otitis media. One of those symptoms, you could get a foul-smelling drainage from your ear, says Kummer. If your middle ear is messed up, you may also notice problems with your sense of balance, a ringing in your ears, or the sensation that your ear is full or blocked. See your doc. 4. If you notice when it leaks out. Infections or tears inside your eardrum can lead to the formation of an abnormal skin growth called the cholesteatoma, says Kummer. It's a kind of a cyst-like structure that leads to debris from the ear filling up the ear canal. Rather than the imperceptible discharge you're used to, ear gunk may come out in a noticeable trickle or clump. Pressure and pain in your ear are also symptoms of a cholesteatoma. 5. If you don't seem to have any. If your earwax pulls a vanishing act Ike, you don't seem to make it anymore here's a very small chance you have a rare and not well understood condition called keratitis obturans, says Kummer. Instead of coming out gradually on its own, the wax builds up inside your ear until you have this very hard plug, he explains. On the off chance you have this going on in your ear, you're likely to experience other symptoms like pain or fullness, he adds. 6. If it's flaky. You're not sick. You're just getting older. As people age, the wax tends to get more flaky as opposed to like peanut butter, says Kummer. Don't freak out. Glands in general tend to dry out as we get older, he explains. 